Show yourself, Cain. Here, Raziel. Everything is decided here. You cannot comprehend the magnitude, the rapture, and the tragedy of this moment. And yet you must, if Nosgoth is to be dragged from the wreckage of its damnation. I understand only this, Cain. That you and Mobius have impelled me to this moment simply means I can trust neither of you. I don't know who's pulling the strings, but it no longer matters, because I'm cutting them. I set my own course from here. If it were only that simple. Your fatalism is tiresome, Cain. And profoundly ingrained, Raziel. You must understand. Our presence here doesn't alter history. You and I meet here because we are compelled to. We have always met here. History is irredeemable. Drop a stone into a rushing river. The current simply courses around it and flows on as if the obstruction were never there. You and I are pebbles, Raziel, and have even less hope of disrupting the time stream. The continuum of history is simply too strong, too resilient. Except, then how do we explain William here? The beloved boy king turned tyrant. In my youth, I witnessed William's rise to power and his transformation into the nemesis who laid waste to Nosgoth. Keep your distance, king. Years later, I stumble upon a chance to journey back in history, unaware that the entire affair has been carefully orchestrated by Mobius. In my wisdom, I seize this opportunity to murder the young king before he can ravage Nosgoth, and thereby provide the catalyst Mobius needs to ignite a genocidal war against our race. I warn you, no further. This one reckless act unravels the skein of history. The nemesis never becomes the nemesis. William dies a martyred saint. I, the vampire assassin, become the author of my own species extinction, and Mobius profits from it all. I destroyed a tyrant only to create one far worse. But how can it be so? How, if history is immutable? The answer is here in this room, Raziel. Mobius propelled William and me together, but ensured first that we were both armed with the Soul Reaver. The Reaver is the key. Two incarnations of the Blade meet in time and space. A paradox is created, a temporal distortion powerful enough to derail history. Is this your sorcery? Not mine, Raziel. Yours. You have nothing to fear from me, Raziel. You hold all of the cards. Then perhaps I should test your sincerity. If what you say is true, you should be terrified. I could kill you here and now. And so you do, Razia. What's happening? We're hurtling towards our destinies, Raziel. What you feel is the pull of history rushing to meet us. This is where history and destiny collide. If you truly believe in free will, Raziel, now is the time to prove it. Kill me now, and we both become pawns of history, dragged down the path of an artificial destiny. I was ordained to assume the role of Balanced Guardian in Nosgoth, while you were destined to be its savior. But the map of my fate was redrawn by Mobius, and so in turn was yours. This is madness! Fight it, Raziel. This moment does not have to be an ending. It can become a prelude. Look inside and see that it is so. You have the power to reshape our inevitable futures. Even now, 
the time stream strains to divert itself, finding its old course blocked by your refusal to destroy me. The future is reshuffling itself to accommodate your monumental decision. This is where we restore ourselves, Raziel, and reclaim our intended destinies. It may yet be possible for me to assume my role as Balanced Guardian and return the Pillars to their rightful inheritors. To the vampires. And this is the destiny you have urged me to discover. I don't know what game you and Mobius are playing, Kane, but I refuse to be your pawn. Unlike you, I still revere whatever shred of humanity I've managed to preserve. You will not use me as the instrument of your messianic delusions. Very well, Raziel. I'll not ask you to trust me. Your truths are for you to discover alone. <laughs> Humble words for one who presumes to teach me a lesson at every turn. And continue your journey and learn your own lessons, Raziel. Remember, Mobius led you here, but you walk away unfettered. A champion of free will and conqueror of false histories. There is much more for you to unearth, if you have the heart for the truth and the will to see it.
seize him. I like that look on your face, Mobius. You really don't know what to do now, do you, old man? Here you are, caught without your damn staff. But I suspect things aren't progressing quite as you'd hoped. You're not used to the fly turning to confront you in your web, are you? Cain's devious influence has poisoned your mind, Razio. Now you see betrayal everywhere, even in your closest allies. We were never allies, Mobius. Conspirators, perhaps. Briefly. Why did you not kill Cain when you had the chance? He was at your mercy. Precisely. I had a choice. And I chose mercy. And now I know your sordid little secret. The significance of that displacement I felt when the two Reavers came together. Strangely enough, I was enlightened by the devious Cain, not by you. In fact, I've learned much more than you counted on. I understand now how you've tried to manipulate all of history for your own personal gain. But now all your little schemes are whirling in ruin around you, aren't they? All because I chose to exert my will for once, rather than obey the demands of sorcerers and spirits and demons, all singing the same tiresome refrain, Kill Cain! I'm setting my own path from here, Mobius. I intend to discover the truth behind all of this. But you condemn us all with this impetuous act. Hardly impetuous. It took all the will I could muster. Has my refusal to kill Cain reshuffled your carefully stacked deck of cards? You really think that you're exercising your free will, Raziel? You're simply Cain's servant. I do not serve Cain. I merely did not kill him. Raziel, do not forget your purpose here. You are destined to be the savior of Nosgoth. Oh, I'm sick of hearing that particular phrase. As for saving Nosgoth, so far I see precious little reason to bother. And I'll choose my own purpose from here on out, time streamer. Right now, I choose to manipulate you for a change. Go. In there. What are you doing? Come, Rubius. You're a cunning serpent. You'll piece it together, I imagine. This error is of no further use to me. You will operate this device to provide me passage. I want to see the world in a simpler time, before the Saraphan began their crusade. 
And what about Cain? You're leaving your quarry behind. You kill him if it's so damned important. You need only touch the two poles of the switch, and the device will transport you. But I urge you to reconsider. You've lost your powers of persuasion, old man. Rot here and forget me. Even as I emerged from that infernal time-streaming chamber, I suspected treachery. The stronghold was vacant, derelict, and abandoned.
I now occupied, this grotesque tableau certainly eliminated them. For here was Mobius, long since murdered by Cain, lionized and beatified as the martyred leader of his bloodthirsty crusade. And if I required further evidence, I needed only to behold the gruesome trophy Mobius held aloft. A severed head of Vorador. The final triumphant kill of Mobius's cutthroat mob. His execution marked the annihilation of the vampires. Far from channeling me into Nosgoth's past, Mobius had propelled me over a century into its ghastly future. The intent behind this little detour was unmistakable. Having failed to make me his obedient assassin, Mobius intended to keep me ignorant of my true destiny, which clearly lay in Nosgoth's past. While his deception only reinforced my purpose, Mobius had effectively stranded me here. This left me no course but to explore the era I now occupied and see what changes the century had wrought following Cain's ill-fated decision. Perhaps time had cleared a path for me into the mountains, where I might unearth more clues behind the mystery of Janos Audrin. No charade, Razia. Only the entreaties of this martyred spirit. Your pleas mean nothing to me after all your deceit. You have propelled me into Nosgoth's future, Mobius, and left me stranded here. I am truly sorry, Raziel, but it was necessary. Consider it the last valiant act of a doom. You have strayed from your purpose, and now behold the result. Gaze upon the wasteland you and Cain offered together. I fail to see how I'm responsible. You spared Cain, and by doing so, you have released a multitude of horrors upon this world. I can accept that Cain has murdered me, Nazir, as the Time Guardian. I foresaw that incident long before it occurred, and I take some small comfort in the fact that Cain remains the sole survivor of his vile breed. But you have single-handedly made my sacrifice meaningless. Your argument is disingenuous, Time Streamer. I cannot see how killing or sparing Cain's future self would alter these events. This wasteland was created by Cain's original refusal at the Pillars. And amidst all these twists and turns, that event has never changed. You are coming, Mobius. I think you've gotten tired of your own 
kneeling. As Cain clings to his precious seat of power, the pillars sink into a mire of decay, dragging all of Nosgoth down with them. I don't think this has anything to do with the pillars or Cain's failure to sacrifice himself. I think you're simply afraid because you don't know what he's up to. He's a wild card, isn't he? And you don't want his influence in your game. Which is why you wanted me to eliminate him. Well, now that he survived, you have no idea what's coming, do you? Maybe for the first time in your entire life. You're terrified that he may have truly found a third option out of the dilemma you orchestrated for him. Cain's lies have addled your mind. Leave this place and trouble my spirit no more. If you even are a spirit, you've forgotten. I have a way to tell for sure. If you're willing to risk it. I think so. Either way, you lose.